Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So there are a couple things that I wanted to show you that I purchased for the Dress Shop Doll House. Now, I did need another set of stairs so that the dolls would be able to access the third floor. And these are some really great stairs, and they're just like the ones that I already purchased. And I got this lovely floral wallpaper for Aunt Janie and Aunt Bess's sleeping area. So I really am excited about getting that portion of the house up and running. Now let me show you what I'm doing in the dress shop showroom. Now these are the panels that I made from some jumbo craft sticks to cover up the damaged walls in the showroom. Now although I chose to do these paneled walls, I didn't want it to look too industrial or really plain because I really wanted to have a really girly feminine look. So I opted for this lovely mauve color and I found it on the reject table at my home store. So I think this calm pink will balance the chaos of the rest of the room. <laughs> so while that's drying, let me show you how I created my window frames. Now the dress shop showroom only has two windows. Now I will be covering the windows with some beautiful curtains, but I still needed to put frames to finish off the look of the room. Now I mitered the corners on these window frames and these are just wood strips. Now remember dolls, these are trim for the windows that I created. So anytime you have to do um, custom modifications for your dollhouse, you're gonna have to create all the components and you will be responsible for making sure everything fits properly. Now, many manufacturers, when you purchase already made windows, the interior trim comes along with it and it's already been sized and perfectly cut for you, but that's not the case when you make your own custom windows. So I'm just letting this play so you can see how I installed the window trim onto the paneling. Now these two windows don't have ledges or anything because again, I'm going to be covering them with lovely curtains. So you make the call for that dolls if you're creating your own windows and window frames. Now here, I just want you to see some of the little challenges I ran into when creating these window frames. So I had already mitered the corners and I was trying to fit it around the window frame and I wanted to make sure it was flush with the window opening. I ran into a couple problems because I cut one of the panels too long, so I glued down the ones that fit and then modified the miter of the ones that were too long. Now I did use my easy cutter and I was able to get everything lined up really neatly and it ended up with a really nice window frame trim. Now here I just wanted to show you really quick what I decided to do with the bead board for the kitchen. Now I did stain it with the Jacobian stain after the templates were dry, but I painted it with this kind of creamy antique white shade that I thought would be appropriate for the time period, but I thought it looked really nice, especially painted on top of the brown stain because that really is gonna lend to the aged or weathered look, given a nod to the age of the house. At this point, I hadn't decided about the showroom floors, but let me show you the walls. So I've got everything glued and clamped. They're drying. I'm really pleased at the way that the window frames lined up around the windows. And I really like the color. So let me show you what's going on with the raised roof. So I received my shipment for my wooden siding, which I think is gonna really bring this third floor addition to life and really make it match the original dollhouse structure so that it won't look like it's an addition, that it'll look like it was always like this. So here I'm just lining up my pieces of siding, trying to determine how I'll have to layer them to glue them together so that they'll lay flush and flat and after I got them lined up, I clamped everything down and weighted it and allowed it to dry overnight. Now, heads up, dolls, this particular part of the process took lots of time and lots of patience, and I did actually have to measure. Yuck. Now, dolls, when you're applying siding, you have to be very cautious and conscious about how you line up the seam. Now, if you happen to end up with some little small gaps, don't worry. Just use a little wood putty, fill it in, and then sand it smooth. Now, this is just an image of everything taped and clamped and weighted down while it dries overnight. And here it is, dolls. The third floor is sided, it's all dry, and it fits really nice on top of the original structure. So let's get a quick peek at it painted. Here it is, all painted, and I've also added the trim around the edges. 
So I received another shipment, which was for my shutters. I definitely wanted shutters on the dress shop. And I noticed something really interesting, Dolls. I didn't realize that the housework items were stamped with a date. And I realized the door frame was stamped 1979. So this door was created just two years after I received my original dollhouse in 1977. I just thought that was a fun fact, Dolls. <laughs> so I went on to prepare my shutters for painting and I found another really great paint color on the reject table at my home store and I just did a sample to see how it would look. I really love the color. It's almost like a brick red or burgundy tone and I think it'll look really great with that green. So I had these in my little stash of extras, so I painted them burgundy too. So here's just a quick glance of how everything looked after I painted the shutters. So let's go ahead and see how it looks on the house. So there it is, dolls. Now I'm not finished. I still need to add the shutters across the windows in the middle, and I need to do the sides. But I just had to show you how it was coming along. Now dolls, if you've enjoyed this video today, definitely let me know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.